I think it did, and I think I think you might be right that that event might have been the best one because Tex was at, at that time for Tex, which was two thousand eight, I think. Um, COD four was just getting this massive acceptance by the mainstream of of uh, of esports, like EG being involved in COD four was a big thing. We you kind of had that inferiority complex to the bigger games and getting MYM, getting EG, getting SK, Fnatic involved. Like that was that was big, and and the matches were just so good good to watch. I can't help but feel had had Twitch been around in those days, you'd be talking hundreds of thousands of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it was. I remember because obviously we had we had the three events back to back to back, right? We had the Antwerp Esports Festival into was it AEF into the into tech, into tech, tech it was into yeah, I and then into I thirty four or five, whichever the big summer one was. Um, yeah, and then obviously we were going into that, and legit there was probably about fifteen teams that could have won it, like each event, like it, because the 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 top teams were so balanced at the time and. Uh, and it showed through the three different events. Like that was the tour that everyone did. It was, it was, it was probably one of still, still to this day, one of my most memorable esports moments of like that little tour going around uh, the community, etc. But, but Stu, we are about to go live, live, live. Here we go, game round one, and it is going to be straight into it. Let's see if uh, Misa I'm watching at the moment. Stevie, oh, oh well, there you go. Who do we expect to kick it off? Stevie gets the first shot. Yeah, great pick from CV onto Climax, who was just a little slow climbing into position to try and get that snipe across the bomb site. Can't do it. Um, and now uh, there's no eyes. There's no eyes on that side for them to to um, scout. Uh, and I'm on board with Stevie, who's happily gone walkies to see what he can find. Davey's got picked off, and we've lost two Belgians in a second as Mize and Miracle claim the lives. And now, lots of opportunities for them to take control. Fantasy racing across that bomb site gets picked off from behind at the hands of Lincoln. Koshi comes up onto Miracle, and now it's just Mize up against two. Yazzie's still alive. B bomb site is smoked out, but no signs. And where is Mize going, Lee? Go get by the bomb. They left it back at the spawn. <laughs> Cover that one off. So he's got his bomb. Okay, so now do Yazzie and Cossier decide to split? Oh, they have. I'll tell you what. Mace has got one just ahead of him. I'm not sure if he's going to be expecting it. He's got to move because the bomb, you can hear it ticking 30 seconds. Got to get that plant down. Just tucked in the corner like a true camper. Yazzie strikes and picks up the first round. Yeah, nice play. Um, and round one, I mean, to be honest, they looked strong, did Team Stevie. Uh, but then... They kind of got caught in rotation without any like awareness for for where their opponents might then be, which I think is just a little bit of rustiness. I, I think it's safe to say there's rustiness. <laughs> like I say, there has been a few tournaments. Rivers just got a triple, a double with the nade. Davy goes down as well. Uh, those stop nades absolutely working wonders, and you've got to feel this is going to be evening things up. River gets another. Can he get the ace? Cossier is the last man he's looking for. He's all on his own. And he will. It's an ace in round two. That is how you start things off. Yeah. Well, what I love is that um, you know that some of the, a lot of these players are still very competitive. Like, if you're on comms with Stevie or Fantasy on a last round, they, they're going to get pissed off. They, that's just natural to them. Like, they, they're so used to winning that... You know, this, this is going to be all action and it's going to mean something regardless of the fact that it's a mixed match. Picked up there, Koshi raced forward to get the frag onto Miracle, but then Mai's equal to Mount. Davy trades as we go frag for frag over on the top of that B bomb site. Fancy onto River, gets himself frag number one, and now is, is tagging up someone coming out of the cafe, but it will sit down and hold that A site with three on two in favor of Team Stevie. Climax and Lincoln holding the fort. <laughs> the banters. Oh dear, the banter. Oh my word, that was dirty climax. Did you see that, Nate? Up and over. Caught him perfectly. Davy, the last man standing now. Uh, he just said, uh, you kill me again. I'm going to make an alliance character. Just the gank you. That was nice from Davy. Makes it a one on one. Climax, where are you? He's over at the statue. Whereas Davy is coming through. He's well aware. Climax does not have the bomb. He's going to have to go back and get that bomb. It's out on the streets at the moment. 
It's going to have to creep back. I have just pulled the mic back, ladies and gentlemen. So I hope I'm a little bit quieter than uh, an out. Oh, it's you! The headshot comes in, but it wasn't quite a clean connection. How do you survive that climax? Goes clutch and takes Davy down. Nice big round there, and uh, it's, it's kind of that's the beauty of COD Four is you know when you take away stuff like the money system, which don't don't get me wrong, love in CS, but it makes every round winnable. It makes every opportunity a level playing field, which means that you get what we have right now, which is rounds exchanging one after another. One ball with climax as he looks across that uh, A site now, and uh, it's picked off by Yazzie. Climax having no luck over in the cafe as he tries to, to get there. It's three rounds he's gone down early. Um, and Mize is the person trying to avenge, but to no avail. Uh, he's given the clear for Miracle to move in, but they have one player just right by those A bins who they can't see, they can't find out who it is. Uh, and it's Lincoln. Lincoln picks up the frag onto Stevie. Sorry, other way around. So down, popping his head out is gonna be Fantasy. Fantasy dropped by Mize, and it's all opened up as Koshi goes down, and it is 3-1. Nice move into that A site. Some big rounds coming out here for some big players. I was watching Lincoln then, and it, it reminded me of, um, oh, God, who was the EG man? He's the Twitch like crazy. You never used to be able to spectate. Uh, Rob Wiz. No, not Rob Wiz, not Robbie Wiz. The, uh, uh, I, w I will remember his name. I'm sure the chat might remember him, but he used to be like really twitchy to watch. Impossible to watch, but Climax has... Managed to land the shot that he needed to. Stevie and Kozje are going to have to go. Huge Kozje with a pistol. Not able to land it with that D. Tries a couple of shots through the smoke. The SMG, but not going to work out. Has to back away. Stevie trying to cover off Statue, but there's so much cover in there. Switches over to an AK. Goes for the nade onto Bombsite. Lines it up. The nade lands. And the shot. Absolutely fantastic. Down to a two-on-two. -two. Miracle and Climax. Miracle holding steady, though. Explosive the plant comes in from climax. climax. Miracle not in the position you'd expect. He's off look, covering the street, and he catches Stevie off guard. That's exactly what he needed. Kozier has the information now. He's got someone to his left, one to his right. He's going to try and go for Miracle. Can't find it. Miracle lands it. It's 4-1. And the, uh, the Swedes, I don't know what we can call them. Team Climax. We'll go with that. They're pulling away. What I liked there, Lee, was uh, after Stevie landed that double kill, clear evolution in your shoutcasting over the past 10 years. You clicked. Click I heard that. I heard that. I was excited about that. Um, up on board with Miracle as he makes his way looking down towards B. Yes, he gets the explosion kill onto River. But Miracle's going a long way unchecked. Walks into Fantasy. He says hello, takes the kill. And uh, now... Uh, that B bomb site is wide open, and Miracle is expecting some form of a rotation, some form of movement that he can just help himself to the frags on. And it is Stevie who's the man looking for him. Stevie versus Miracle. Stevie, I don't think, has a, a darndest idea where he is. Um, lines up the scope and is looking across. Miracle is actually to his left, I think. No, he is to the right. So he's going to poke his head out right now. Stevie lined up with that pistol. Where does he see him? He's pulling away, and now Stevie will get the frag. Miracle down. Stevie has flanked them out and cleared the, and can give the all clear to the B bomb site as the push comes in elsewhere. There is uh, Lincoln getting picked off by Yazzie, and the second for him coming out of uh, the cafe. And uh, Yazzie plants his flag on the A bomb site. He is the last man standing, though. Uh, sorry, no, he's not. At They're all. miles away. He They're gone. miles away. He's planting. He's planting it on B. They're completely on the other side of A. So Mises Explosive snuck in weapon. there and completely caught him off guard. With Yazzie and Kozie, they're, go they're gonna have to double team it here. Mises, you know, he's, he's done this. His old past of Yo-Yo Tech, the classic name. You don't get names like that these days in eSports. <laughs> no, you don't. Uh, and thank God that you don't either. Um, but he has the bomb and he's in a beautiful 1v2 here. First player comes into the bomb site. He had to hit that shot. He didn't. Falls up with a kill on the Yazzie. Now can he claim it? No, Kozie was prone. And the two of them played it well. He really had to land that first jumping hit. Uh, and we'll follow because you will get the defuse, and that will be 4 2. All right, so finally they get themselves a point back on the board after uh, a, a dismal four round unanswered. Let's see if there's any sort of answer. That was the first time they've really tried to hit B, though. They've been dominating over at A site, so I expect them probably to return straight back there. Fantasy hasn't really shown much in this. Again, stop nades going out, doing what they can. And this time, a slower round. Just a, 
Ty and get a pick. Climax with the scope, trying to see if he can find something. Lincoln looking down the street. He's starting to make his way in statue as they all work their way in towards this A site. But as I say, they didn't have that fast early approach. And that's given Stevie's team a chance to set up. Whoa. Yazzie yeah, assassinated in the middle of that site. River comes in, picks off Davey. We're down to just three players left standing. And as that A assault nears, oh, big nade from Stevie. That claws their way back in. Miracle down, and I think he got a tag as well. So the opportunity's there. Climax is dropped. Davey follows suit, though, for the other side as Mize levels it up. Both Koshi and Stevie have eyes on someone. It's River, and he's picked off. And we are left at two versus Explosives two. As planted. Bomb goes down from Mize, Lee, take us home. Yeah, Kose going to try and come in for this one, but he gets caught instantly. It's all down to Stevie now. What can he do? A 2v1 clutch versus Lincoln and Mice. This is nigh on impossible. 30 seconds to go. Looking for a one. Finds him. Gets Mice down. Looking for Lincoln. Where is he? He's right on the statue. Coming right up behind him. Stevie might have to stick this one. He's going to run it down. 19 seconds. Still plenty of time. Lincoln gives his position away. And now he's lost the track of Stevie. Stevie hopping around with the Deagle. Didn't land the shot. And Lincoln does with the SMG. And there, right on topic, a bit of teabagging in Call of Duty 4. Yeah, well, I think we should start a franchise league just so we can see that happening. Um, I mean, fantastic player. That's, that's kind of what you, you, you love about this game. It comes right down to a duel for the bomb at the end. And every round is like that. No nades land at the start of this. The eighth round as uh, Stevie gets picked by a sniper. And it'll be Fantasy who has gone a long way out into those streets before the A site. Come up by some smoke. We'll get nowhere. Switching over. River has himself a frag onto one. Miracle dropped by Koshi. And we're looking uh, as a three on four as River managed to stay alive. Lincoln having a little peek over the wall. Wasn't really sure where that was coming from. Here we go. Nade towards Stevie. Maybe try and catch him out. Doesn't land, it seems. Climax took a big hit, though, from somewhere. Switching over. Looking at Kosye. It's Kosye that they're worried about at the moment on the street. That's where Lincoln and Climax have been looking at. Explosives planted. Deagle play, but a four on two with the bomb plant in. And he got the cross on street. Stevie down. And Kosye, not a lot he can do about that one. 6-2. A really strong start for Climax's team here. Yeah, and a bit worrying. You need to see a few more defensive rounds go up. And there's definitely a little... I mean, and it's, it's to be expected for a game like this. But Team Stevie, they're not... They seem a little out of step with one another. As uh, the nade drops on to Kazuya, making life even harder for Team Stevie. I think that's been a big part of it. There's a lot of the start rounds, I mean, it's always it's always that classic Call of Duty 4 Pro mod was the nades. The nades, and they are eating a nade at the start of every round, but that is a good return frag from, I think it was Fantasy that was in the side there, making it a three on two advantage. Big chance here. Climax now, the last man standing is speaking of nades. So Stevie holding on to his nade, not using it at the start, not getting those big stop nades uh, to slow them down going into the A site. So preferring to hold back with it and not catch him on the street. But now Climax. He's got to go huge here. That's Stevie. That was a nice flick shot. Davy and Fantasy. Two legends in their own right across multiple titles. And Climax is going looking. Can he see them down the street? Davy's holding angle at the backside towards A. Fantasy is staring at a wall, just listening, 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 waiting for something. Climax is going to see. Davey first. As he gets... Oh, he got a glimpse of the head, but he couldn't land the shot. And Fantasy, who was just waiting, does strike. And they get themselves an important round back. Yeah, and the defenders played that perfectly. They knew vaguely where he was, and they could afford to just wait and draw him out. And used the 2v1 perfectly there. And uh, an important round for the defense to just bring us back to a little more of a closer scoreline. Uh, for them to then pick up on their defensive side. As uh, we're on board with 
Miracle who's again trying to get Climax into position with Link and a Miracle coming out of the cafe in A with Climax covering with a sniper. They're going to charge on into that site. Stevie has been dropped by Climax who this time has the better of it. We're going to lose another man and the defense are falling, wilting away. It's Fantasy and Koshi up against five and two guns down. Fantasy A has finished off the grenade, locked him in behind that bomb. He did pick off one, but it's Koshi who's the last man standing, Explosive makes his way out from behind on that A cafe and we'll get one frag before he is put to sleep seven three ten rounds down uh, a big start river obviously dominating at the moment with the 14 frag stevie though with the 10 but he's been losing out in that duel to climax in the last few rounds which has cost them a little bit i've been kind of keeping my eye on it stevie this time trying to cover off the b approach now that hasn't been successful and, oh, Fantasy and Davey catching River and Miracle both down street there. Big chance for the defensive team of Stevie to set something up. Nades over, and it's just Climax left standing. He's lost all of his buddies, and he's stuck in that cafe position. He's basically said every round he's going to sit at cafe. Um, and he's been left alone this time. Gets himself the first kill onto Fantasy. But he's only got the four players uh, to finish off with the uh, remaining minute that he's got left on. i tell you what, if he did pull this off, that would be one for the uh, memory books, but he's not going to. Yazzie, Stevie's younger brother, finishes off the job. Important rounds. Two back-to-back -back for the defence, starting to bring the score back a little bit as we slowly approach half-time. Now, let's see <clears throat> where this one's going to go. Climax sees Dave in mid-air. Quick flick shot. It's a B push this time around. It's going to be a quick early move for Climax. He's looking for more down the street. Can he see Stevie? That's what he's looking for. Looking around that B-bomb site. Stevie has gone down to Miracle. So already the defense once again in trouble. He might be looking at an 8-4 here, but Lincoln's gone down. Fantasy has woken up, I feel, in the last couple of rounds. And now with Cosier and Fantasy both covering this B site, that's the approach they want. They may have to adjust. Yeah, I think Fantasy's remembered that he's not playing Battalion. And now is uh, is in COD 4 mode. We're three on four. Opportunity for Team Stevie here, albeit without their talisman. Miracle I'm on board with is he hears someone jumping around by B, but isn't entirely sure where. Makes his way through the house. Fantasy picks himself up the kill into Climax with three versus three. Miracle knows there's someone at B, and he is hunting, 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 and he can hear him. And uh, has, oh, he's right behind him now. Closes in for the kill, and it'll be Koshi that's down, and Miracle did not make a sound. Is there frag number two coming here as well? He'll jump his way back down from spawn, drops down with the 180 kill onto Yazzie. Great play, Miracle. Just play to the sounds, and that leaves Fantasy all alone at the end of this round. Yeah, he's got a near-impossible task. They did well to bring it from a 5-on-3 back to a 3-on-3, three three, but... That was some stealthy stuff, wasn't it? Caught him in the back. 8-4. A great first half performance overall. As we switch over. And, well, let's see what Stevie's team could do on the attack. They're going to have to have a big performance here to try and draw this level. Yeah, I feel Stevie was hot. Um, and I think if he's, if he's on point with that sniper again in the second half, then there's a real opportunity for them to claw this back. But... Who knows what map balance really is in a mix in COD 4 these days? I certainly don't. Well, for me, it was all about the nades early on. Climax, his team were so strong with them, so I want to see whether Stevie's boys can do it. River was hot on the nades. I'm seeing Lincoln and River tossing them both out. The smoke's down the street. Nothing connects early on. Climax hopping on through. There's a nade going out, trying to catch them down the street still. Nobody getting any tag, not even a tag from any of that. So not even a sniff. So Miracle's going aggressive. Getting him to the cafe, tucking himself in. Fancy on the street. He's the one that finds the first kill. Gets River down. That's exactly what he needed. And now it's going to be a slow, steady approach. I feel, I feel like it's a feeling out approach in the first round of their attack. Yeah, and it's... Oh, it, well, it wasn't paying dividends, but they do then get themselves a frag onto Yazzie. And Stevie lies in wait. Fantasy has himself a kill onto Lincoln. We're on four versus two. Miracle going to need to pull off one for his name. As uh, you see, Davey's gone a long way around the back. As uh, he and that bomb are going to 
finally make a commitment. Davy lacks commitment, some might say. Did he go A? Did he go B? No, he's like, you know what, finally, I'm going to think about going to the B-bomb site. Let's do it. It's just Miracle left, 1v4. Um, oh. But he's not giving up, please. That was a smoking shot. I mean, he was tracking him the whole way down. He just hopped up and caught him. But unfortunately for him, Fancy was hot that round. Got about three or four, I think, in a round there. So, he, like I say, he's waking up. He's starting to wake up. 13 kills, leading uh, Fragger for the team now. Whereas very even, by the way, for uh, Climax's team. 10 kills all across the board at the moment by a number of the players. Climax not finding oh! anything in street. He found his teammate. That's not what he wanted. He literally tracked it and shot him. And like I could, even I saw that was his teammate. But there we go. In the heat of the moment, you never know. But Lincoln has done the job for him, luckily. And now... He's looking for more fantasy. Guns him down, though. And now Climax is the last man standing. And this is a nice comeback for Stevie's team. Yeah, eight rounds on defense. Doesn't look like it was anywhere near enough for Team Climax as the first two go the way of Team Almost Belgium. Uh, and this is a big moment. Uh, if, if we don't see Climax and Co. put something on the board here, they're in a world of trouble. We start with, let's start with that man, uh, Climax, as uh, he is going to try and lead by example, rattling off a few sniper shots from afar, but nothing doing. Smokes Ahoy, and uh, he takes a tag from someone on the top of that house, and now he's looking across, sees someone trying to make the run over towards A, but he was always tracking behind him, never going to land that, and uh, Stevie, his opposite number, has the frag onto Miracle, uh, but does lose uh, Koshi for his trouble. Lincoln hit up pretty heavily, tagged through the wall, just hoping that they miss this time down the street. So he's going to back away, but Stevie's pushed up, catches him straight in the back there. Former teammates, of course, back in the Fnatic day. It's Climax with an aid. No, Stevie's coming. Trying to hold down and slow up the team, give everybody else a position. River's been holding this statue for the entire time and catches one off guard. Fancy goes down. Stevie quickly responds though as Climax gets picked off. Stevie strikes again. And now it's all on Misa. Where and what can he do? He gets the tag but not the frag. Down the street there. Looking across towards A site just trying to hold them at bay. But with the bomb plant coming in from Davey, Explosive. this is looking like another chance here for Stevie's team to collect around. Misa with it all to do. Yeah, he's got a lot of work to do. Coming from Spawn will make his way, I think, through Cafe. But time is against him. Down to just 30 seconds, he makes his way into Cafe. And Stevie and Davey are just waiting for him. Arms open, come to Papa. Davey is looking straight into Cafe, uh, where Mice is. And Stevie's to the right, out of sight. Uh, but certainly not out of mind. It'll be Stevie who gets the frag. That's four for Stevie that round. At halftime, I said Stevie was looking hot. But now it's getting a little more awkward than that. It's somewhere between hot and sexy. I'm having awkward feelings. Uh, that's how good Stevie's looking at the moment. Well, it was Climax hitting everything. And again, he just missed the cross shot. Just watched him there. Missed the cross shot. River with the nade, though. Slows Stevie down. Cosier picks one up as well. So this could be a big comeback here. Koshi, though, quickly turns it round and Stevie lands the shot. And just like that, when you thought the defense was going to get around, Climax and Lincoln is all that's left. They're going hunting for them. Lincoln stays steady. Climax popping off shots, hoping he can find something. That cross shot, so important that he missed early on. Just got to bide his time. Yes, he has the bomb. It's going to be an A plant if he can get there. Or is he going to pull all the way around to B? He's got time. 50 seconds. Yeah, it is. He's going to pull it all the way around the spawn. Over to that B site. Climax gets Cossier down. And suddenly there's pause for thought. What was a great start is kind of going wrong, Stu. Yeah, that's the beauty of COD 4. No round is given. Every round has to be taken. Sniper shots rattling off from afar. If the bomb is with Yazzie as he makes his way straight into A, he has Stevie for company. Stevie trying to look across. Lincoln is an eye on B. Doesn't know what's coming A. He can hear Stevie, though. Um, where is it, Lincoln? He can see it. No, it's it's uh, his teammate. He can hear the two of them have made the crossover there into that A site. Sniper shot rattles off. You assume that they both know they're there. Lincoln's going to come in through the main entrance. His first eyes will be to the left down towards that fountain. There's, that's where I think Stevie is, but... Uh, 
Lincoln spies the silhouette of someone hiding on the right. Can just see the, the corner of his gun. Fires off, tags him. Second player doesn't move as he waits for him. Where is Lincoln's backup? He needs Climax. And Climax is eyes on with that scope, but the, uh, but the smoke will cover him. Shots being fired off. Climax rattles his way in towards the site. There's a player down like Stevie. Down by the fountain. But before I can finish that sentence, the frag is done. And it is 8-8. Eight, eight, four straight rounds on offense. Brothers in arms, indeed, that the brother's going to work it out. Yazzie and Stevie, some fantastic stuff. Stevie's headshot, oh my word. He was hit up, flipped up so much, tagged down, and then just a quick spin flick, and he lands the shot. Oh, that's an easy one for Lincoln. Sees Davey, caught him down the street there. This is a good start for defense once again. Now, can they make it work for them? Because it's all tied 8-8. Eight, eight. The bomb with Yazzie. Again, it's another A approach, but this time he has... A strong defense in front of him around the statue. One tucked in the corner. Yes, he trying to slowly make the approach. It's going to be from the street. There's going to be the angle that they could try and work it. As Stevie gets River down, that's what they were looking for. Now, it's all square. Miracle sees Yazzie. That's going to stop him dead. That's the bomb down. Loose in the calf. And it's Miracle who will go chasing to make sure no one gets to it. He does get tagged as a slither of damage to Fancy, but Fancy certainly scares him off. Uh, Fancy has picked up that bomb and now is moving it back towards the main A entrance where Stevie on the other side of the map is pistoling down Mize. Stevie helps himself to another frag. It's Lincoln that goes down and while Fantasy will walk that bomb into the B site with the clock slowly beginning to tick. It'll be two on one. Stevie, can he complete the hat trick? No. Heavily tagged by Miracle, Explosions who is uh, pushing them both back into a defensive position, but will get no further than Fantasy. Five straight rounds, and I'll tell you what, Lee, I feel like when we talk about Stevie, he hasn't aged a day, and we're back in kind of 2008, 2009 time. And this is scary, right? Because we were talking to him before the game, and it's like, no, I don't really play games anymore. I've had a little go of Call of Duty lately, but that's about it, really. It's just like, what? What wasted talent this man could be. He could be smashing heads in, in Counter-Strike or, I don't know, whatever esports, I guess he picks his mind out that he can just come straight back into the server and top frag, just like that. It's, uh, it's pretty scary, honestly. A natural, natural talent. But... At the moment, his team are down one with Fantasy picked off. But that even things up as Misa goes down. Lincoln looking, goes, takes a peek and streak. He might be able to catch them all in the back here. Gets around the side, gets Davy down, gets the second as well. Yazzie picked off, and that's a big problem for Stevie and Cosier. Yeah, the two of them getting chased down. Climax is going to finally get himself back on the board, and Stevie is left alone. But, uh,. Alone Stevie is something to be afraid of uh, as he goes looking for uh, Climax, who his, his opposite number will get the better of him. And that will be the first round on defense for Team Climax. And, uh, well, we have six to go. It's 9-9. Nine, nine, and the opportunity now for a tense finish. Climax holding the angle. Nothing showing for him. Let's see. Miracle, oh, Miracle down the nades. We were talking about the nades, how big a part they can play, but it's quickly evened up as Fancy goes down. That's a problem for Stevie's team. He's been really hot the last couple of rounds. Lincoln will get Cos here as well. And now Climax goes aggressive into the statue. Smoke looks for the SMG, finds it, looks for one. It's Yazzie, I think you can see. It's Davey gets down. And now Stevie is the last man in a 2v1. They're going hunting for him. They're going to come around the backside of him. I don't think he's aware. Has one ahead of him. Bang, down he goes. And finally, the rounds start to clock up for Climax's team. It took a while for them to settle in defense, I feel. Yeah, sticking them almost all of the half, but they've got two in a row now. And magic number is 13, of which they're just three away. Isn't maths fun? As uh, Fantasy will be the one. Climax opens up the killing. He's the one. He has to continue this route of, of being the first killer. If he does that, it changes the dynamic of the round. And uh, Fantasy leads up from that A house, looking straight down across. Got half health on a bunch of Team Stevie, and they have eyes on them. They have absolute knowledge to the uh, attacking team as to where at least two, maybe three, of the uh, defenders are. Davey, though, levels the score. Lincoln down, four on four. 
Yeah, they know that he's down the street and can't quite catch a glimpse of him. Fantasy's been trying, trying, trying. Finally, he makes it count. That's Climax down. That was the big man that was slowing everything for them. The team captain spins around, sees another. Davies picked off by River, though, but it's River behind the wall. No, but trying to wall bang as best he can, but it's not going to work there. Miracle gets Yazzie down as well. Stevie sitting in the calf, having a cup of coffee, waiting to get involved in this game as Fantasy's been trying to hold them off. The entire game now goes hunting around the statue. He's got one ahead of him, sees him, takes him. Miracle down, two on two. It's going to be over to Fantasy now, but he's caught out by River. He knew he was there the whole time. Just pops around, River delivers. He is hot at the moment, 23 kills and counting. Yeah, beautiful stuff there. Fantasy took up such a great position. He was such a thorn in the offense's side. But as you say, just got a, maybe, I don't know, impatient or something. Shouldn't have, uh, didn't need to really get as aggressive on that push. And now we'll get three straight rounds for Team Climax, but they do lose their opening player. River, cast his curse, uh, is picked off by the nade as Stevie levels up the score with Miser going down uh, on the end of that sniper. So let's see, we're a man to the good for Team Stevie as the bomb is slowly moving around. But after those opening nades and opening salvo, things have things have slowed down to a, a snail's pace. Yeah, just just calm down a little bit. Stevie caught the the long shot down uh, towards the beast, but didn't didn't decide to stick with it. It looks going to be another A push, it seems. As Davy goes down, the Belgians delivering. Flashed up. Stevie has no clue where he's coming from, but gets the deagle in Lincoln's face. How on earth? Climax finally answers with a shot down street, but that was some impressive deagle work. Sort of hit and hope, literally going off your hearing as best you can, but you're completely blinded and deafened. Yazzie up and over. They have the bomb. They're on the move. Fancy is going to pick it up. I was about to say, is he going to leave it? No, nope. goes in for the statue. Yavi finds one, but Miracle gets him down. It's a quickly answered. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. Climax versus Fancy. As Climax misses that first scope shot, Fantasy is going to make his way straight into that site. Bomb is planted. And we are in a beautiful post-plant 1v1. The scope is out from Climax as he spies Fantasy. Fantasy had him locked on, jumps away. And uh, will hide down, calls him out. Good play from Fancy. He chased the sniper. He knew that he had the uh, range on his side if he got up close and picks up an important round for Team Stevie. Oh, I've missed the bindings that used to come out in this game. It's great. I've been, I've been enjoying seeing them every single round. But here we go again. Climax, can he hit one of those cross shots? Doesn't see anything, thinks okay. It may well be a B split because he had good eyes on A early on. But Kossier does get mice down. So now they're going to look over that way. Miracle's going very aggressive, thinking of maybe pushing out of statute, not going to go into street. So holds himself up, fancy holding position. It's a, a slower start this time. But Lincoln again comes out, strikes, gets himself one down. And we are all square. A much slower approach to the round. I feel, I feel like there's a little bit of tension starting to develop here. Yeah, this is uh, turned into a great game, as it tends to with Call of Duty 4, as uh, Yazzie yeah, picks himself up the kill on the Miracle Stevie trades. River goes down. It's opposite Fnatic number, but Team Stevie, four on two, and should look to close this one out. Lincoln's taking heavy tagging, and uh, does go down fighting. Stevie's picked off. This was there to be one for them. Bomb picked up by Fantasy. He'll move in now through that A Cafe, and... He's waiting for the all clear from Davey. Davey gives it because Lincoln is down. And now it is Climax one on three. And this is a problem as uh, they know exactly where he is at those bins. I think they do. And he is exactly there waiting for Yassi. Second kill fantasy. Oh, Climax rolling back the ears. 1v1. Bomb knocked down now. Davey is in a lot of trouble. He has 16 seconds. He must find Climax. As he makes his way across towards the A site, Climax waiting, spots him, kills him, and that is 10 12. And that was a round that Climax had no right to win. Yeah, that was a big performance, held the angle as well perfectly, and manages to catch him down. So, Climax, how's he going to adjust on this one? Looks like he's going to try and cover off the B snipe, but Stevie's there, quick and early, getting River down. Climax was a little too slow to get in position there. You can see he was trying to set up for it, but. Stevie was fast, obviously got the good spawn at the start there. Lincoln just trying to hold back as they push on in. Climax gets Cossier down. And now 
I'm just wondering whether Climax can make a difference just like it did in the previous round. It's all square 2-2. Fantasy and Davey are the two that are going to have to move this bomb in. Fantasy just by the bins. He hears someone, but he knows it. There it is. It's Clinkin and Lincoln. I don't think I had any idea Fantasy there. And that leaves Climax again 1v2. Can he carry his team to victory? He is looking for Davey coming out the back. Um, uh, coming out the front of Cafe. Sorry, Davey is in fact going out the back. And so they're going to move it around on the streets. And let's see. Climax is distracted by that smoke, but he should be focusing on Davey. He can see them both together. He's in a whole lot of trouble. They're heavily tagged up, but they pull it back. We're going down to the last round, and COD4 delivers straight out of the box with a cracking first map. Did we expect anything else? The veterans all still delivering. We were a little worried. A little worried at 8-4 in the first half. Thought, okay, this could be a one-sided show, but this is looking like it's a pretty even affair. Davey checking down the street. Doesn't find anything. He's going to go up high. Yazzie with the bomb. Is he going to go quick and early? It has been much slower attacking rounds for Stevie's team. They've not been as quick as pace and quick as going into the statue. Stevie lands another absolute banger on Mize there. And now he's going to line up the nade and try and clear out the approach into statue. Who's in statue? Fantasy's ready. Everybody's ready. It's going to be a full pile in. There's one man. Holding the angle at the moment inside. I can see Rivers tucked in. But is it going to be a fake? I think it is. It's a fake. Is it, Davey? They're looking for him. They're going for it. Rivers going to be the man. Where's he going to be? Fantasy is trying to get him through the wall. But he gets shot in the back and taken down in quickly. Just like that, it's a two on two. Yeah. River going to follow up onto Davy and move down to two versus one. Stevie, last man standing, picked off by River. And River with the double kill to win the map for Team Climax, who had to come back. They were out of form and they had to turn it around. Uh, but Lee, this is what we paid to see.